Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so uh, today I'm going to go ahead and do a whole bunch of different St. Patrick's Day looks, which means I get to play with all my green palettes, which I think is really fun. Um, so these are uh, palettes that you may already have, and um, hopefully this will give you a little bit of inspiration for a fun holiday or a different kind of holiday. So um, first off, I went ahead and started with Sage the Day. And as far as what I did with this one, went ahead and used this as my base. Um, I use this right under the brow and on the inner corner. And then this one on the inner part of the lid, this one on the outer part of the lid. And I think I used a little bit of this in the crease as well. Oh, and I did go ahead and use uh, this one as an eyeliner. This is how the look turned out. And I think it's fun. It's kind of a muted look for St. Patrick's Day, but um, yeah, it would definitely work. As far as what I have on um, on the eyes, I have the Superhero It um, mascara, and then I also have the NYX Thick It Stick It in Light Ash Brown as far as the brows go. Um, everything else that I'm wearing is going to be listed in that box. Um, Blow, but uh, what this video is just kind of focusing on are the different eye looks. So, again, I have a couple more and I'll be right back with my next one. So, this is Adrian back again and with look number two. Sage the Day is actually from ColourPop and you can get it at. Um, I think you can get it on the ColourPop website. Um, I don't think it's over at Ulta or Target right now. But um, look number two is from the Hocus Pocus 2 palette. And this is called All Hallows Eve. And it's a really pretty palette. Um, as far as what I did here, I used uh, this color for the base. I used this on the lid, this one on the outer corner. And this one actually has a green shift. I used that on the inner corner of the eye. And then this one is a really pretty champagne that I went ahead and put right under the brow. So yeah, I think this look is fun. It's definitely kind of, definitely more poppin' than the other color was. Um, Sage the Day is more muted and this one is more, yeah, right in your face kind of color. So this way that this one worked out. And again, um, just uh, fun looks from palettes that you might already have. So uh, that's, again, a ColourPop palette that you can get on the ColourPop website. OK, so back again with the third look and another poppin' look. And this one is from the Scooby-Doo uh, Ruggie well, Ruggy palette. And uh, this is a glam light palette that you can get on their website. But if you have it, you could definitely pull it out for um, St. Patrick's Day. So what I did was I used uh, this mat in the crease. I used this mat on the outer corner. Then I put this uh, shimmer right on the, um, uh, not all the way to the outer corner, but you know, uh, pretty much. And then I put this one on the inner corner. And so, yeah, I got another popping green look. And uh, this way that this one worked out. And so that's palette number three. Again, if you have it, you can definitely go ahead and pull it out for St. Patrick's Day. And I will be back with another look in just a moment. Hi, so for the next look, um, I actually went back to an oldie but a goodie. And this is the, Mandal the Mandalorian, the Child palette from ColourPop. 
and it's been out for a while. You can get it on the ColourPop website. And so um, what I did was I went ahead and I used a combination of uh, these two in the crease. And then I did this one on the inner corner and right under the brow. Um, I also did this one on the inner lid. Um, or closer to the inner lid and then I used this one over the whole lid. Um, I put a little bit of this in the outer corner and a little bit on the gold or a little bit of the gold uh, right in the middle of the lid. So it's a little bit um, yeah calmer kind of uh, color scheme here. A little bit more muted is probably the way to put it. Um, but again it would be great for St. Patty's Day. And um, I'll be back with the next one in just a second. Hi, back again. Lost count as far as how many looks I've done so far. Um, but this one is from Garden of Juvia. And... Um, what I did with this look was I went ahead and used uh, Lucky Clover all over the lid. And then I went ahead and put in flower petals uh, right on the inner corner. Um, did, uh, yeah, best buds here on um, the middle of the lid. And then on the outer portion of the lid, I went ahead and did Money Tree. And I think I'll go ahead and add in some daffodil here. It is pretty. There. Now that is an extremely pastel green St. Patrick's Day look. So uh, this is how it worked out here. And um, yeah, if you have this palette, you can definitely throw it in the St. Patrick's Day um, and have a, a very pastel green look for St. Patrick's Day. Okay, so back with another look. Uh, this is from the Earthy Palette by Beauty Bay. And with the Beauty Bay, uh, what they do is they do nine pan palettes for Earthy, um, 16 pan palettes, and 42 pan palettes. So they'll just uh, take a green theme like this and uh, they'll make bigger palettes for it. And um, you can get these Beauty Bay palettes on the Beauty Bay website. They're out of the UK. And as far as what I did today, um, I went ahead and used this all over the lid. And then I used uh, this one on the outer corner. I went ahead and used uh, this on the lid, uh, this one on the inner corner. And let's see, we can put some of this like right under here as well. So, yeah, that's the way that this look turned out. I did use an Emrite, um, let's see, gel eyeliner um, to go ahead and do the lining around the bottom of the eye there. And the way that this turned out is sort of like this. It's a little bit darker. Uh, than some of the other ones and so yeah if you definitely if you have this one definitely um, go ahead and it would be a great St. Patrick's Day look and I'll be back with one more and then we're done. <laughs> Hi it's Adrienne and I'm back with the last of the green St. Patrick's Day looks and uh, so this last one is from ColourPop. It's the Tinkerbell collection. This is Sprinkle a Little Magic. And so what I did for this one, um, I'm not sure if this one is still available. Um, you'll need to check the ColourPop website. I'm not sure if it's still there or not. Um, but anyway, so far as what I did, um, I went ahead and used this all over as a base. And then I did go ahead and use some of this uh, right on the brow bone. This one on the lid. Then I used this one on the outer corner. 
Um, I did put a little bit of the gold right up underneath the brow. And I think that's all that I did for this look. But um, this is more of a Kelly Green kind of look uh, with both of these colors. So uh, the way that this one worked out is like that. And I really didn't use any eyeliner or anything with it. Um, but that's all the looks. Um, have a great St. Patrick's Day. Don't drink too much green beer. You will pee green. You will. Um, but anyway, have a great time, and I'll see you later. Bye.